Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll be doing a review on the Santa Bowl Limited Edition Ronin Boxing Gloves. So check it out. Hey guys, Carlo here, and today I'm doing a review on the Sanibel Limited Edition Ronin Boxing Gloves. I got mine in 14 ounces. You can get these in 12 ounces as well. It is a Velcro closure-only glove that's made in Pakistan, utilizing synthetic engineered leather and four-layer multi-layer foam construction. Now, what makes these gloves unique is gonna be the aesthetic design of these gloves. Sanibel commissioned an artist to do a Japanese-inspired uh, artwork as well as graffiti look to these gloves and putting the left and right glove next to each other you can see they, they're very different in terms of the artwork um, the main colorway with the, the synthetic leather is going to be black you can also get these gloves in white as well so if you want something in, in a white colorway you can do so but looking at these gloves you do have the sandable logo on the left glove you have kind of like an octopus character that's kind of uh, entangled in the logo which look kind of unique and then like a, I think like a little monkey on the, on the right glove and just some more artwork. It looks like kind of like a video game, like a Nintendo, uh, Nintendo controller, um, D-pad if you want to call it. Uh, looks like you have like a power plug on that. The thumbs on the gloves, on the right glove it's pink, on the left glove it's, it's yellow and it looks like a, almost like a Phillips screw that's screwed in. Um, the punch surface is a little bit different. Um, both gloves, the right glove, it looks like a Ninja Star. This one looks like a Ninja Star as well with some kind of like circuitry. So you have basically, you know, pink, yellow, light blue, white, um, and I think that's about it as far as uh, different colors. Um, the palm section on the wrist is a little bit different as well. You also have some Japanese font. I'm not sure what those mean. Uh, if any of you guys know what that means, make sure you comment down below. I'm sure I can look this up on Google later on. Um, you also notice that the Velcro strap kind of reminds me of uh, the winning MS series gloves. It's a little bit on the thinner side and doesn't have any piping around the strap. It says Sanibel on the back of the Velcro strap there in pink and then in yellow on the right glove. So you can see that they're very unique. And you also notice that it has a really nice smooth tricot liner. And on the left glove, it has kind of a, a pink purple look. On the right glove, it's like a yellow and dark yellow with a white. Uh, so very unique looking gloves. And to be honest with you, when I first saw them, I was like, eh. I don't know, man. I'm typically a person that likes more simple, classic looking gloves. But to be honest with you, these really grew on me. And when I wore them, I actually got a lot of compliments on these gloves from people because they had never seen anything like these. And that's something that, uh, you know, Sandable as a company has always done. They've always come out with some really unique gloves, which I can applaud them for because you really don't see that very often. I mean, they've come out with like the Los Cactus gloves that are made out of cactus leather. They did a a grape leather glove. Um, they've done some really unique designs. So, you know, I could definitely give them props for, for really trying to push uh, the envelope in terms of like making gloves look unique and different. And um, to be honest with you, these really have grown on me and, and I think they actually look pretty cool. Um, and again, I'm, I'm somebody that kind of likes more traditional looking gloves. Uh, but when you put them on, I mean, they actually look pretty dope, to be honest with you. And I'll put both on just to kind of show you guys. Typically in my reviews, I usually just show you guys one glove, but for the sake of this video, because of how unique these gloves look, I'll put on both. But you can see they actually look really clean. Um, I got mine in 14, so if you want to go with something a little bit more compact, strictly for like bag work and hitting the mist, you can go with 12s. But I, look, I think they actually look pretty sick. So you can see the yellow and that pink thumb definitely unique, looks unique. And uh, yeah, honestly, I've actually got a lot of compliments on these gloves. Surprisingly, just people asking where I got them from and what kind of gloves they are. And uh, so they make for really good stories, you know, in terms of like a good uh, conversation starter, so to speak, with these, these gloves. Now, aside from the aesthetics, I know you guys are going to be asking, well, you know, how do these gloves perform? Uh, you know, are they all looks? Um, and no, they are not all looks. These perform um, excellent. Um, you know, outside of the way they look, we're just talking about the glove itself design wise. I say that it has a medium profile. It's not overly large and not overly compact. It's kind of right there in the middle. Um, the synthetic they use on here is really high end. It's, it's really thick 
and has a very nice durable feel to it. It does not feel cheap whatsoever. Um, it, it really replicates leather very nicely in terms of just thickness and durability and the way it feels for an engineered leather. Um, the design obviously is very unique, has a very cool look to it. You do have an attached thumb, um, a really, I'd say pretty good sized grip bar right here that has some good firmness, no ventilated holes, which would have been nice to have. Um, black piping on that side right there. You do have a three inch Velcro strap. And again, it's a lot thinner uh, on this glove. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of this Velcro strap in terms of it not having any piping, but it does go with the look of the glove. The inside glove has a tricot smooth liner that doesn't bunch up, which is nice and is yellow on the other gloves. It's 14 ounces right there. And like a lot of the other Sanibel gloves, you also have the Sanibel, I don't even know if you want to call it, but it's kind of like a rubberized uh, piece that goes over the piping to just kind of give it a little bit more of a custom, unique look. You have, I'd say about maybe three quarters of an inch of nice firm padding on the back of the wrist and a softer padding on the inside. And you have a about maybe three quarters of an inch of that padding on the inside of the wrist that goes up to right about here. And that same padding that goes all the way up to this part where it meets the light blue on the uh, palm right there. Uh, quality wise, these gloves are actually really nice. I mean, you know, the gloves themselves, the stitching looks really good from where the thumb meets the index finger. The consistency of the padding is good. You can see that the padding on here is more on the medium to soft density side, which I love. Um, that's just my own personal preference. I love gloves that are a little bit more on the medium uh, to soft side, not too super firm. And you can see it has that nice uh, flat punch surface so when you land your strikes, but you can see the stitching on the edges looks really good. The weight was a little bit off. I believe the right gloves are at 14.2 ounces. Uh, so almost exactly on weight, the left glove I believe was at 13.5. So about a half ounce underweight on the left glove. So if they can get the weight a little bit more dialed in, that would be nice. Uh, the stitching on the back of the wrist looks really clean. Um, the glove itself, balance-wise, you can see it's pretty well balanced. Um, I was thinking that the glove would be a little bit on the top heavy side, um, but the fact that they distribute the padding right here does a really nice job of keeping the glove pretty structurally sound. When you hold the end of it, you can see there that the glove doesn't have that sag that some other gloves have. And the liner looks great. So looks really good throughout the entire glove in terms of attention and detail. You know, stitching the synthetic leather. One thing you'll, you'll notice with a lot of synthetics is that you won't have really any imperfections in the actual material itself, unlike leather. You know, obviously real genuine leather is, is, a, is, a, is a skin uh, and has some natural inconsistencies that you'll find with genuine leather. And engineered leather, you typically don't see any of that. So in that sense, you shouldn't see any kind of imperfections or marks when it comes to a synthetic glove. Uh, but overall, I'm really impressed with the quality of these gloves. And you can see there, it looks clean throughout on both. Um, I'd say that the engineered leather has more of a matte, maybe satin finish to it. Um, not a very shiny glove. Um, either so definitely love the way that these have been built um, and even more so how they fit. So comfort wise when you slide your hand in here um, for a 14 ounce glove they feel pretty much on point for a 14 ounce glove and by that I mean sizing wise I have medium sized hands um, if you're somebody that has smaller hands or even larger hands I think these would accommodate you fairly well um, I feel like the thumb compartment is perfect is nice and parallel um, when you make a fist, your thumb doesn't jam at all. You can see that the attached thumb does its job. It doesn't allow the thumb to protrude out if you're to use these for sparring and poke your, your sparring partner in your eye. Um, but the thumb feels great. The piping is loose enough to where when you have your hand wraps on, you don't feel like your thumb is getting choked out. And the finger compartment is nice and deep. To me, these are probably Sanibel's most comfortable uh, gloves, in my opinion, in terms of comfort. Um, I feel that they did a very nice job of dialing in the comfort as well as putting this nice feel, almost like a piece of neoprene, like a memory foam over the finger compartment so you don't feel any stitching. But uh, the more you use it, what you'll notice is that your finger almost makes like its own little imprint in that foam. So I love that added touch they did with that in terms of just having that nice grip. 
Um, I feel like the grip bar could have been a little bit bigger, a little bit more pronounced where you can feel it more when you make, make a fist, but generally speaking, it feels really good and nice and deep, not too wide, not too narrow. I didn't feel any areas where my fingers were getting pinched on or you feel like any kind of soreness when you're using this glove. Um, the wrist support, you know, is pretty good for what it is. Pretty standard for a Velcro closure glove. No special technology built in with this. No, you know, no V-strap, no ratcheting. Uh, a pretty standard uh, glove in terms of uh, wrist support. Uh, but overall, extremely comfortable. And uh, I'd say Sandoval's most comfortable glove I've used this for, even compared to like the Los Cactus, the Great Leather Gloves, where I felt the thumb was a little bit awkward on those. Different, this one definitely feels much better uh, in that regard. Uh, protection and performance. You get an excellent crack with these gloves. That was another great thing I love about these is that multi-layer foam. And one thing you'll notice is that it's very soft to the touch, but, but the more that the glove compresses, it's almost like the foam on the inside starts to really stiffen up. And that's what I love is that you can really land some really nice sharp shots. And it, honestly, if, if I were to do it again, I'd probably get myself a 12 ounce pair of these, maybe in white, so I can use them for mitt work and just work on that precision. But the composition of the foam they use on here, probably a combination of like closed cell and open cell foam does a very nice job of shock absorption, but allowing you to actually feel that your shots are, are landing the way you want them to. So you get that really nice pop and feedback out of these gloves that I haven't really gotten out of any of the other Sandoval products I've used in the past, but with these ones, you could definitely feel it uh, with these gloves and how your, your punches really sink down. You can actually see I've been using these gloves and that surface is pretty flat over using it. So you don't get that molded foam feel where the glove is way too dense and stiff and the surface is so round that when you punch, it almost feels like your punches kind of roll off the bag or whatever punch surface you're here hitting with this. You get that nice pronounced feel of it landing. Cost-wise, this is gonna be the big but, or the big if. Uh, these gloves are $288. Now, I know a lot of you are probably gonna react and be like, dude, what the hell, I'm not gonna pay $288 for those. They're made out of synthetic leather. I don't like the way they look. I get it. Now, this glove is one of those gloves that's more, what some people would say, they, they, they get it because they love the way it looks. Either that or they hate the way, they, the way, the way these gloves look. It's, it's really subjective, right? So this is a limited edition glove. So Sandoval essentially releases these type of gloves um, and then they take them away. So they'll release them and for a limited time, they'll have it on their website. You can buy it if you love the way they look. Um, and then from there, you know, you probably might not see them again or maybe they will re-release them down the road just depending on the popularity. So it's really up to you in terms of, you know, finding the value in these. It's really hard for me to say, uh, no, they're, they're not worth it because you're essentially buying the design. Now, in terms of the performance, I feel, I feel like they perform great. So obviously that's a huge plus because if the, the, the gloves themselves suck as far as performance goes, like they use a, like molded foam and the thumb's awkward and it was just uncomfortable and the liners sucked and it was, you know, all wrinkly on the inside, then there would be really no redeeming qualities to the glove, even if the gloves did look unique and cool and you love the way they look. So the good thing is that they didn't just give you a glove that looks unique, but they also give you a glove that's fully functional and actually performs really well. So it's completely up to you for $288. I know some of you are gonna say, I would never do that. And that's totally cool. And some of you guys may look, love the way they look. I'd say probably the biggest issue is the use of synthetic. You know, I'm a big advocate for genuine leather gloves. So it would have been nice to have these in genuine leather rather than synthetic. But with that being said, I think that the synthetic they use on this particular model is really good. I mean, it feels very thick. Um, I've had these gloves for maybe like three months now, I think. Um, and they've held up, you know, I, I always have my gloves in my rotation. So I have my gym bag and people will tell you all the time, like I usually have like three or four pairs of uh, gloves in my, in my bag or in my car at any given time. So I'm constantly just rotating these gloves in. And it's held up really well, especially here in Arizona. It's starting to get into like the triple digits, you know, above triple digits. So um, they've held up nicely. So completely subjective in terms of the value of these. You know, if they didn't have this unique design to them, then I'd say definitely say they would be overpriced. Um, if you were to say, okay, these gloves are just a black and white glove with no crazy design on these, I would probably say that these are probably like a 120. Uh, dollar glove, in my opinion, max. 
Um, so you're essentially, again, paying for the artwork. Whether that's worth it, that's completely up to you guys. But I think they look pretty cool. Um, they perform really nicely. I love the multi-layer foam. They're extremely comfortable. Um, and uh, outside of that, I think they're a really cool looking glove. So if you guys have any questions or comments, make sure you guys leave them down below in the comments box. I'll put the link in the description box where you can find the Sanibel Ronin boxing gloves. And I'll see you guys later. Take care.